Hey, I'm Angie. And I'm Ryan. And we are Happy, Happy Healthy, Healthy Vegan. Vegan. So we are up in the total nosebleed seats at the Forum. In Los Angeles. And uh, we're here to see the dead and company. John Mayer and the Grateful Dead, basically. On YouTube, they did a live um, vidcast of yes. the concert at Madison Square Garden. We caught it. We're going, oh my god, this is actually really, really good. This is the best totally I've works. seen the dead in like 20 plus years. So that got us you know, on, on top of this. Make sure we're in the right seats. <laughs> <laughs> that really is row 26. <laughs> <laughs> so I pretty much got us the cheapest seats possible. They're really, really high up. And they're also way off to the side, but uh, we're on the John Mayer side. We'll, we'll see what we see. It's really all about hearing, more so than seeing. out that the nosebleed seats had really awful sound as well as um, not good vision and a general overall smell because of this low ceiling area so we ended up walking down and uh, kind of hanging out on this little balcony until we got kicked out um, but yeah we had a pretty good view of the whole scene from there So for those of you that haven't been to a dead show, uh, they take these like 20, 30 minute breaks in between sets and they play two or three sets per concert. So after this set, we wandered over to a spot behind the stage where there was a lot of empty seats and found a place to chill out. And it ended up being such a great spot to see the show from. The sound was really amazing and uh, I got way better footage over there too. So Poor Bob Weir, his voice was actually really shot the first night and um, they actually ended up letting John sing a lot more of the songs um, than they had done at the Madison Square Garden concert. Man, the one song that really stuck in our head from the first night was absolutely Shake Down Street. It was such an amazing version. <laughs> John Mayer's guitar playing is just so perfect for this band. I mean, I can't even tell you how how many people that um, never even really heard much of his career, but you know, were Dead fans obviously, were just amazed, completely blown away at how good John fit in with the band. You know, everyone's pretty much agreeing this is the best they've sounded in a long time, and, and John gets a lot of credit for that.
Chimenti, his props to we love his jazzy vibes. He's such an amazing keyboard player. Um, you know, we've seen him in a couple different iterations of the dead and he always blows us away. And the way that he and John interacted was just so fun to watch and they brought so much energy to the whole set. The final song of the night was Friend of the Devil, which was the um, first time I'd ever seen any iteration of the dead do an acoustic song and it definitely had the most John Mayer vibe. Uh, he did it justice, bringing a little bit more of a poppy edge, but so good. Saw the Grateful Dead and John Mayer play Yay! New Year's Eve Eve at the Forum. <laughs> yes, the Eve of New Year's <laughs> Eve because he likes to zig when others are zagging. <laughs> yeah, so it was great. Um, how long a concert was it? I don't know, three, four hours. Yeah, <laughs> I, I filmed some, but I just wanted to be in the moment. Yeah, it was awesome. Our, our seats sucked, but we moved and got some really good ones we behind moved the twice. stage. It was awesome. Yeah, it was great back. Yeah. I sat there once before in 1989, my first show. 89. So I, I remember to check it out behind the stage. Oh my god, really? seriously, the first time that you ever saw them was here? Right here in 1989, oh. December, same month. Weird. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So when I guess Jerry I'm a little Barrett bit of a deadhead, us. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we've seen, we've seen uh, many iterations of the dead, um, like three or four different band names and configurations. Yeah, I've seen John Mayer quite a few times, we too. Yeah, we've seen him play like three or four <laughs> different ways, too, with different bands and different styles, so... That was just really weird to see them both combined. And it just worked so perfectly. That was awesome. So this is definitely going on our highlights of 2015. So our original intent was just to go to the day before the New Year's Eve concert, but uh, it was such an amazing show that uh, Ryan actually said, do you want to go back? On New Year's Eve proper? So on New Year's Eve during the daytime, we're all thinking, God, what, where should we go? I'm looking on Ticketmaster, the tickets are still available, and I'm going, what are we going to do? We're just going to sit around our house and mope and wish we were there, so let's just, let's just do it. Let's make it a two-night event, so. Yeah, we were really curious, like, would they play some of our favorite songs they didn't play the night before? Because if, in case you don't know, the Dead played different songs every single night. Yeah, you can go see them for a month and never hear the same song twice in theory. But anyway, we did. We went for it, and here we go. Yeah, we know it goes. tickets for the second night thinking it would be fun to be like down in the thick of it um we're pretty far back i'm super zoomed in here but the problem was oh we we're right next to a bar and there was like all of these super drunken party vibes and these two chicks in front of us and their boyfriends or whatever they were were just so drunk and talking and yelling the whole time that i ended up getting really mad and um yeah we end up moving again yeah, back to behind the stage once again, where the sound's awesome.
song is one of their well-known jam out songs. Super epic dark star. They're getting ready now for the midnight hour. In fact, they played wait till the midnight hour, and this is a long tradition the Grateful Dead have of bringing out uh, Father Time to usher in the new year. This is actually Bill Walton, a famous NBA star, a lifelong deadhead, so he must have been stoked to play Father Time. And check out John Mayer. Of course, he gets a selfie. At this point, there's all these different characters on stage, Marilyn Monroe and like, I don't know, Father Guido Sarducci impersonator, and it's just pure chaos. And uh, they're flying a joint around with two people in it, and it's just getting crazy. And I'm realizing we probably should have went back to our original seats on the floor. man we want to keep it chill I say John Mayer is just like total rock god in my mind now you know it's like just listen to him he's totally got this down
because so many people actually commented on like the Instagram posts that I made about um, the show, you know, we decided we would share some of the footage with you guys. So yeah, it's not a typical vegan video. <laughs> no, there's really not there's much. Really <laughs> nothing vegan going on at the show per se. Uh -uh. Just I didn't us. even check out the food offerings. I didn't even bother. We just bought bananas and Lara, Lara bars. bars. And yeah. uh, we bought no booze. We bought one water. One five dollar water. <laughs> I had some kitchery at home, and it was like totally good times. So this is this is definitely New Year's Eve that we'll remember forever. Yeah, full on. Yeah, I made 2015 just go out that much more epically. Yeah, so we literally, for like the last 15 years or something, have stayed home. So it was wild to actually be out and about on New Year's Eve. But it was so worth it. It wasn't like just going out to a club and dancing and drinking booze. We were like seeing some of the best musicians out there just plying their craft and with so much joy and enthusiasm. It was... It just it made the New Year's Eve like whole other whole other level. Yeah, full whole on. Other level. So that was our two nights of New Year's Eve with the Dead and Company, and yeah, I think we we're just talking about it. this is probably the best New Year's Eve we've ever had. First of all, it was twice yeah. as good as any other because it was for two nights. I know, seriously. <laughs> but second, we just kind of usually stay home and you know hide away from all the drunk driving and crazy partying and stuff like that, but. Yeah. Yeah. So either you're gonna like or hate this video, depending on your feelings about the musicians and bands in question. But uh, yeah. Anyways, for all of you deadheads out there, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> so leave your questions and comments down below. I know we're gonna get some interesting ones on this one. Oh, yeah. I already know one of the questions we'll get. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. <laughs> were you tripping on a ton of drugs? No, we were not tripping on a ton of drugs. Right? We didn't drink any booze. Just there, full on vegan, feeling it, man. Just feeling the love. <laughs> so like this video if you're into it, and uh, stay subscribed for future vegan, vegan content. Vegan content, I promise. <laughs> but you know, we'll share our lives too. You guys seem to be interested in who we are outside yeah. of like what we eat so we'll continue that in 2016 so uh until next, next time, time keep, keep it carved, carved and it. keep on trucking <laughs>